A mother and son with connections to the Outer Banks gunned down in Nevada. Good evening, I'm Regina Mobley. Their family is bringing the son home to be laid to rest. 10 on your side's Chris Horn spoke to his father about this family tragedy. Regina, Evan Scoggins' father told me this afternoon he's feeling a combination of sadness and anger and trying to strike the best balance as far as justice for his son. Andrew Scoggins is left with the fond memories of his son Evan growing up in Poplar Branch and attending Kitty Hawk Elementary School, winning spelling bees and football games. You know, Evan uh, was the, just the easiest uh, little boy to have around. He was just lovable, and there were so many of us on the beach that loved Evan. He was a uh, he loved to read, and uh, I coached, help coach his. Uh, he was in the third grade, his football team. Uh, we were undefeated, mm -hmm. and uh, he won the championship. Scoggins and Evan's mother Anastasia divorced, and she then married Carl Groshen. Evan and Anastasia were shot to death the night of October 11th in Henderson, Nevada, near Las Vegas, and police have charged Groshen with the killings. Scoggins says after Anastasia married Groshen, Evan's life was in upheaval, moving from the Outer Banks to Charlotte, Missouri, Nebraska, and ultimately Nevada. But Evan never forgot North Carolina. He remembers his family life on the beach very well. He remembers mm -hmm. his cat midnight and miss those things that uh, mm -hmm. made him feel like he was part of some uh, some group that uh, engaged in some real continuity of community. Scoggin says Evan might have foreseen trouble coming. Did uh, Evan ever communicate to you that he felt he was in danger? <clears throat> yes. He did? Yes, he did. Okay. Yes. Um, on his Instagram, um, Evan was very explicit on uh, one of the last messages we that was a serious message. It wasn't something about a movie. Scoggin says he plans to sue Groshen for wrongful death. Groshen is in jail with no bond. He has a court date next month on the two murder charges. And Scoggin says Evans will be brought home and buried in Poplar Branch. He has set up a GoFundMe page to assist with funeral arrangements. We have a link to it on wavy.com. Chris Horn, 10 in your side.